Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of a legendary difficulty. It is... I don't know. Um, I have not tracked the month, uh, to be honest. The game doesn't really tell you a lot about the time, but I would say we're solidly in, in the mid-game. And <clears throat> we have uh, finally done one of those ancient runes and boy, that was a incredibly tough encounter. So next time I need to be better prepared. In the meantime, we're being attacked left and right and center. So really what I want to do is get enough teams going and um, defend uh, all of the havens that I can. Attacking strength 16, defending strength 10 means we're up for a treat, but the reward is quite nice. So let's jump in. <coughs> C team is on the prowl. Unfortunately, a little bit low on stamina as I can just see. Eh, that's not good. I think the guys need a break, so I maybe after this we go back to the haven and actually rest for now. Um, do we have enough ammunition <clears throat> and healing supplies? Ammo count looks good. We could use a bit more equipment. I am wondering if we will just produce another med kit <coughs> for now. <coughs> Apologies. Um, well, we got melee bash weapons, so actually, by thinking about it, this is a decent setup. In Vinci doesn't have uh, the torso for attacking for one, but is still doing fine. And I wonder. Uh, they are deployed in a different region, so we can't even neutralize it. But having a neutralizer isn't a bad idea either. So here we are okay. Uh, Silent Toe is still trying to get that second class going. Our infiltrator. The weapon is good, by the way. I like that Sinidrian crossbow. Super strong weapon, but not very ammunition efficient. So the pistol is really the fallback solution. And I was thinking today, um, hear me out, just uh, one thought. I was uh, thinking today, maybe it's actually not inefficient to just fly back, let, let the guys recover. In the meantime, fly around, do some trading. And once they are recovered, we're continuing to fly because I'm not sure how the XP with the training center works and I don't want to do too much pre-mission analysis but if we're looking at the where is it um, no it's not living quarters it I think it was training facility there we go soldiers at the base so they need to be at the base, they can't be in, in the air. We'll gain two experience points per hour for each training facility in the base. Which, cool, but it, it requires you to have training facilities. So for instance, born in the USA, right? Uh, you're looking at um, a couple of uh, recruits that are doing training. And I just wonder, maybe, maybe, just thinking about it, Mm. Having born in the USA as a facility where we're building, we had a few more uh, fabrication plants, but we're still having two options left over. So maybe we can build more training facilities or alternatively, and I promise I'll do uh, the mission in a second. Um, alternatively, we're just opening the base here phoenix charlie right kind of in the middle of everything that uh, that we're doing and maybe what we're doing is we'll just put living quarters in there let's just double check the bases yeah living quarters are across all bases even yeah, so my point is, maybe we're, we'll just activate that base here. 
and then all we're doing is getting training facilities in there. I wonder if that is a valid strategy just to train the rookies and get them up to let's say level level four or five because problem that I'm currently seeing with the personal is like these newcomers who are now going for the for the next team they start at level one and two and I would even argue that like the third team which is now between level three and four that's already struggling with the harder missions to uh, to keep up so maybe we're doing that um, if I was to do it over here and born in the USA I would get up to two more training facilities we do have two archaeology labs right um, we don't need storage rooms so theoretically that can go I have plenty. Storage capacity is shared across all bases, so that gives us a hundred back. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, we could do training facilities, and that would skyrocket from two. Say, if we had five training facilities here. That would skyrocket, massively skyrocket uh, us into 10 XP per hour. Access lift. Can we, no, we can't demolish uh, that. Doesn't make sense to demolish it. But the space here has two access lifts, for instance. Easily demolish one of them. Gosh, I can learn so much more about uh, uh, the game, but I don't want to dra drag it on too much. So what I would want to do is new plan, one, two, three, four more trainings facility. And then born in the USA is actually kind of the USA university. Um, and we're going to put personal there. And just let them <clears throat> level up just like that cool that ends uh, the initial uh, intro which should have been like what a 20 second uh, briefing and then it turned out to be a four, a four seven minutes rent even let's go guys all right we landed and it looks like another day in paradise we got a berserker right over here. Ready, willing, and able. Ready, willing, and able. That's what I like to hear. What? What? No. No, that's not happening. This is not real. They are sending Skrillas here. 4,000 hit points. Have I missed the memo where the I game just escalated ready. from all is good to we're now in the middle of the end game and you need 8 people per mission. Okay, so affecting 5 ter radius dazing targets if shock value is greater than current hit points. Yeah, 200 hit points. Let's double check real quick. Oh, yeah, 4,000 hit points. Well, that's going to be helpful. Well, at least that guy can armor break. On my way. Disciple, uh, disciple of a new berserker.
puts himself uh, over here. Moving now. We are taking a Kalma approach. And I would like to stay around the exit zone because I have the suspicion that this here might not work out in our favor. I might be wrong. Maybe everything's good. But currently I fail to see how everything is good. Dashing ahead. Ready to fire. Yeah, the Arthrons are a problem. These guys do have quite an arsenal, but luckily they are fragile, so... As I mentioned, I would love to stay at the very edge Target and not located. move in. Very well. So that's okay. Uh, that is okay for now. Ready. Good. Moves up. I've got this. Lining uh, up a shell to connect there. Reduces armor just a tiny bit, but that's definitely about it. Okay, let's hope that we're finding a really, really big force of uh, disciples of the new defenders. But well, we got two, uh, plus the one that we do have, which is a start. What is happening? The guy can just leap forward. He deals 170 points of damage. Few fireworms, okay. Very good. So that guy likely is going to die. Well, pretty much. We, we can kill him. We do have a problem. Okay, let's start with using all of our abilities. 
Minus 30 armor. That's a good start. Resisted the stun. How many will points do we have? Nah, just barely not enough. Let's show them what we can do. Care too much about the poison worms. <laughs> Minus thirty on that big spawning pot. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, we should go all the way over here, as far away from him as possible. Now he's not going to die if we're not killing him. Where's our decoy? Five by five. Puts up a decoy there. Identifying target. Ready to fire. One. Ah. And reload. That guy is bleeding as well. Fantastic. Eyes peel. Ten damage. He's dead now, right? Yeah, he's dead. I've got this. Which means we can fully focus on dealing damage after we've um, after we've re reduced uh, the armor. Here comes the phoenix, lining up a shot. No mercy. Overall not bad, I mean he's already down to 3000 hit points, hitting that back is actually quite helpful. Up a shot. Preparing to fire. We killed two. Oh, it's actually surprisingly good round. We killed two on this side. The other two uh, shield bearer alphas are still a force to be reckoned with, but they are very far away, and that's our advantage. Our big problem is over here.
poisoned. We need to get the infiltrator back. He has done his job. We lost our good friend. Enemy spotted. Ha! This better work. Free aim. Okay, so. We already got all of the armor away from that. Torso is gone as well. back we are healing ready Keep on going. Got you. Very a action efficient. Since there is no more armor on the target, we're dealing a lot of damage. That's down to 2,600. Here. Engaging. Solves our biggest problem. He still has a spitting capability, if I'm not Amy. mistaken. But yeah, his comrade is more dangerous, so we're changing pace and aiming for his comrade. Can't really afford to put any of the snipers onto anything else, but this flank here this better work <laughs> disable the torso great shot we'll have to focus to engage. Hundred fifty. Gotcha. 
And another 180. All right, rushing away from the worms. Problem now. <laughs> no, so oh, don't shoot the worms. You will never hit them when they are falling from the roof. I was hoping that he would go for the berserk. By he, I mean the massive abom abomination, the Strilla. We're ending up with dozens of these worms. At least something is going our way. Technician begins to heal. Ready, sort of. Could we get another de decoy? No. Berserker to tank. But that thing is so incredibly fast. And hard to deal with. Do we have a plan? Okay, Berserker uh, basically goes there. here. Hostile. Yeah, that's the mind sucker. We already sure know that. This. Repositioning. I hope this works. I know Berserker needs to be the one tanking this, not the rest here. to focus yes did it poison worms are a problem we need to deal with them now uh, yeah that will not really stun him
Still got an enemy over here. Guess it's my turn. With not enough willpower, Warcry would be a fantastic option now. Can't go too close to the mind sucker either. Smells like trouble. Okay, 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 okay. Good overall hit. Ready to engage. Oh, boy. Let's just get this over with. Oh, I think I have to oh, yes. One, ah. two. Could hit the torso. One. Still a thousand hit points left. It lo it lose six hundred once the spawn re is down. I'll keep my eyes open. Preparing to fire. target 90 damage Heal ourselves and right there, and we're moving out. That didn't work. It worked. <laughs> what? It's running away. Okay. Well, I'm not, I I am not complaining. We still have uh, around one billion worms to deal with, but
my biggest concern for now is actually dealt with. If they lost the mor uh, their morale? No. It's just a bit of a tactical retreat, I bet you. Good. Disciple of a new berserker. Free aim. Um, see around the corner. Great. Aiming. Free aim. Open the fire. Got that down. reload now we might need Ready. more Short ammunition off. in a second trying to aim uh ready switching ammo one two Focus. No downside in trying, oh, because no, we couldn't really again. move anywhere anyways. Overwatch, okay. I'm here. Uh, now we could use grenades, rocket launchers. Aiming. That would be a waste of actions. Still got to deal with a tyrant. Unfortunately, a miss. Last shot, then we need to reload. Target next. <sighs> hit. Fucking kidding me, right? Oh man. Ready to engage. Gotcha. Leads for hundred twenty. That's what we're talking about. These guys are a problem. One, two, yeah, no, 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 no. Moving all the way back. And done. Uh, wow, we can't believe that we have beat him, uh, beaten him off of the map. 
threat eliminated. Good, we got two more of these artilleries, and we got one berserk. If we play our cards right, we can even heal him. We actually managed to get that big thing down with our C team. Can't believe it. Moves up. Hmm. I need. That one. I got to focus. I just need the right angle. I got to focus. And I thought the infiltrator would be. Ready. The class uh, with the easiest time dealing with I'm those uh, threats. Ready to engage. Okay, we're reloading. Preparing to fire. Poison worms. Fire worms are even worse. to deal with him not yet There's a camusa The commissions. Okay. Couldn't hit the enemy. Still lots of fireworm. Shot wide. The problem with the worms is we can't just stay too far away. Because then we're not hitting them. What we might want to do is try to get a rooftop after this guy here is dead. And then 
start to hit these guys from the rooftop. Okay, some of them apparently are starting to panic. Which is interesting. Damn, gay next. Yeah, I can't really hit them. No, this is not going well. You are absolutely right. Need a moment. Right there. Healing. I wish we could just move up. What's our move? And that'll be it. But the worms, unfortunately, right there, are not just pushovers. Aiming. Target down. Switching ammo. Okay, so moving over, I'm trying to get to the high ground, like I mentioned. Too many worms I can't push in. Overwatch. Watch. Uh. Too small tar uh, of a target. I think what we will do is, with as work. many of them, I'll try to re regain my willpower. Specifically with our heavy, and then the heavy is going to uh, rocket jet, uh, rocket jet jump uh, to the artillery, and we'll get it down. The fireworms are a problem. Good, reloading. JP moves up. Enemy kill. That's a worm. This better work. Like up. Phew. Enemy down. Ready to engage. Enemy killed. I'm here. Okay, let's move. Um, 
Can't really see the guy. Okay, we're having on the move. Multiple enemies in there. I'll try to stop them. Just need regaining to our points because I want to rocket jump. I'll keep my eyes open. Okay, let's see if that will take care of the worms. Why can't I hit anything? I haven't been seeing many more worms so far. They destroyed the generator, which, of course, is an absolute catastrophe. Missed. Moves up. And I'll teach you not to destroy the generators here. I'm ready. One down. Full cover. Ready to engage. Damn it. Keep it together, operative. Kill confirmed. Okay. So, shield gone. Unbelievable. And he, by the way, has the most reliable one action point weapon in terms of di uh, distance and accuracy. Killed all and uh, have we killed all enemies? Moving. Potentially not, and I wonder why. Receiving loud and clear. Good, we're regaining. 
Let's go. Out of our willpower. Switching. I'll keep my eyes open. I don't know if I should say that was good or not, but boy, that was a harsh mission. It, they lost key infrastructure, but wait, they did not lose uh, the the haven. At least I don't think they did. At some point, I was very close uh, to to just leave, but then we uh, continued to deal damage and yeah haven saved that's good got the reward got a maduk's fist and a shotgun failed to identify the origin What a hardcore mission. What a hardcore mission. Like they're down to zero stamina. Double tap. Gotta level up. The decoy has definitely saved us. That was incredibly impressive. Two hundred hit points. I think here we need to upgrade the hit points. Same. I notice we're just taking hits of up to two hundred. And if you don't have uh, the necessary hit points, you're just going to die. Good, so we wanted, I think, to fly back. Personal with Manticore 1 is still trying to get better. Now let's test my theory here. So all of them would be in Phoenix Point, right? Right. Okay, cool. Four for six. Okay. Two for ten. That's good. And that's good as well. thought about the ethics of our relationship with the Athrons. We all say we're fighting to save humanity, but aren't they human, at least in part? 
They can speak, they can think. Hmm. If there is a way to save them, we would do it. So would I. After all, in a way, they are part of us. Our friends, our families, all those who were taken from us. I would take them back. Good. They don't have anything to offer. Um, in terms of Phoenix Point, everybody is pretty much full again. Learns mind control. Okay. Get some hit points. Cool. Thank you. Good. Back in in the base, uh, we want Manticore. 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 Mandicore and Mandicore. The Prime Team is doing very well for themselves. Thanks. Now, um, problem that I'm seeing is we really don't have a whole lot uh, to do here. So where would we fly them? Can't do another another one of these runs. Drengs does theoretically have room for a little bit more carry weight Crew of Medical One is ready, so I'm wondering. All of that is done. The exploration sites. Hmm, maybe that is what they meant with new exploration sites are available. Two for twelve. Yes, please. Personal, I think we're going to let you guys be here for a second. And the ship itself. Can you explore the exploration sites? I'm seeing them for the first time. I think these are the ones uh, that we've already done, right? Unexplored site. 
Yeah, the exploration sites were the ones that we have already successfully explored. Good, we'll make our way up to here, which is the last unexplored site. And we'll do that the next time, <laughs> locate this Skrilla and then locate and eliminate the Skrilla and then evacuate your squad. Well, that is not going to be easy. You gotta hate Skrillas. Uh, they are incredibly strong and very, very, very tough. So let me just look for recruits. Nothing. We do have a technician here. Haven info. Yep, that could be a hire for us. Let's just double check what else. Um, there's a berserk over here. A bit more expensive. Sniper here. Easy peasy. That's another priest. Assault. Yeah, I think I still want to, like this technician, that's a great option. And there's still a few, one unexplored site, so maybe we'll get the technician. And whilst the guys in Frozen Circuit are relaxing a little bit, we're flying over here, are getting that, maybe saying hello. Um, we do have a Berserk here. And here as well. So yeah, we we do have a few other classes that we could uh, that we could recruit. I think a few more berserks would make sense. Anyways, guys, this is the end of today's episode. If you are a berserk as well, uh, start the rage and hit the like button. It has a bit of armor, but I promise you, with enough armor penetration, you can click through it. Take care and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.